Greetings, my friends. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I am Chisba. Now, we are going, like I said um, before, we're going to be doing some... Started in the wrong bloody place. <laughs> but, oh well. Yes, we're going to do a few loose ends. We don't have to do these now. Jeez, oh, get the... Ah, stuck on the fence. <sighs> anyway, we don't have to do these now, but I'm going to because... Like I said, it just makes things... Easier in the long run. Right. Out of my way. Thank you. We're going in here. The Lost Woods. I think it's called Lost Woods anyway. Um, yes, we're going here for two reasons. No, we're not going in there. We're going in here. And we have found another piece of heart. So there's that piece. And next, we are also going to be getting... This. Now, usually the best time to get this would be um, this is this mushroom smells sweet like rotten fruit. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Select it and press the Y button. You can do this. Um, the best time to do it is usually when you're when you're um, prepared when you go to pick up the Master Sword, but considering with where I'm going next, it's easier to get this and then just... give the mushroom to who we need to give it to along the way. Right now we can do uh, this and go in here. And we have another heart. Yay. It's best to pick up the heart pieces as, as soon as you can get them. Because, um... Oh, we can do this now as well. Awesome. Right, we're going down here. Remember this area? You should. This is where we brought Zelda to go to the... To go to the sanctuary. Bombs. Ten arrows. And three hundred... Rupees. I now have 972. Now, unfortunately, that does mean that we have to go back through all of this. But, to be honest, it's worth it. And now I have 999 rupees. That is the maximum you can have. And it means we're not going to be broke when we get Zora's flippers. Run! I can't stand this music! Okay. 
now that we have done that, we can go do what I wanted to do in the first place. Oopsies. Yes, you cannot go into deep water yet. So, go this way. And here we are. Now... The smell... Mmm, the smell of rot rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. Haha, <laughs> thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. So, we're actually going to go do this first. Because you have to leave the screen anyway. So, we'll go down here. No. There we go. And we go around here. And we go up here. Now, what I love to do, if you're about to get hit by fireballs or by those things, you can jump in the water and you get um, basically an invincibility flash. So, which allows you to walk through them. It's kind of cheap, but... Um, it's, it saves you from losing hearts. And also, you can dodge fireballs by doing it. And now this is Zora. Ha ha, wa ha ha, what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Wa ha ha, but I don't sell, I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? Pay 500 rupees. Wa ha ha, one pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk which link lakes rib and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. And now we have Zora's flippers. So what we do now is... We drop down here. And also we come over here because we have something else to get. Another heart piece. Now that we've done that, we can drop down here. And we can make our way out. Because we are now done with this place. Now there's something I need to get. And we are going to go in here. This is the waterfall of the wishing. Mysterious Pond, will you throw something in? Yes. First we throw in the boomerang. Mm, lovely little fairy here. Did you drop this? Yes. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. We have the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and further than your old one. Mysterious Pond, won't you throw something in? What will you do? Throw an item. Now, there is another thing we can throw in here. Our shield! Hello there, did you drop this? Yes. I like an honest person, I'll give you something better in return. Your shield is improved, now you can defend yourself against fireballs. Which is really, really handy. Mysterious Pond, throw an item. Now, I believe... Yes. Throw this in. Yes. I like an honest person, I will give you something better in return. 
It fills it. She filled your bottle with the medicine of magic. To get a potion free is quite a bargain. So yes, I have some magic potion. So now we will swim and go here. And it will land us right here. Now this is an interesting location. This is where you get your bombs and arrows, the um, the number of um, ammunition you can get will, well, you can increase the amount of bombs and arrows you can carry. So I'll just show you this. Throw a few. After the first time, you can actually throw 25 or 50 in, so it makes it a bit easier and a bit faster. Let's just, just speed this up a bit because it is it does take a long time, the first time. There we go. I want to make your wish come true. I want to carry more bombs. Then I will increase your ability so you can carry 15 bombs at maximum. This is just a small happiness I can give to you. And now, there's another little extra... I'm actually going to... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So I've got a... There. There is a reason I'm doing this. I don't usually carry magic, um, medicine, a medicine of magic with me, for obvious reasons, and as I said, I prefer keeping fairies, and here is a fairy, a little fairy pond that you can go to at any time, oh yes, which reminds me, I have got another bottle to go get. I will go increase my arrows and bombs, um, oh jeez, off camera when I have the money to do so off camera, you know what I mean. So what we're going to do, we cannot get this until we go to Dark World obviously, so what we're going to do is we're going to go swim up here. Because what we can do is we can swim under here. And under here is this guy that looks kind of like Homer. Yo Chisba, you seem to be in heap in, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. So now I have three I have three magic pot bottles. The fourth one we won't be able to get for quite some time though, unfortunately. But yes, that is... That's... Um, I think that's most of what we can do now. I don't think there's pretty much... Because we've already... I mean, like I said, we've already got the ice rod, so we don't need to go get that now. Um, we've got the bottle. Oh, Jew! GGG! Damn it. There is one thing I did forget to go get. And I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go get the, the, the something that we should have gotten before. And I'm a complete idiot for not remembering to go back and get it. But because of the nature of it, uh, the nature of where we went, we couldn't really get it. This is the magic powder. Try sprinkling in it on enemies and many other things. 
Red is the medicine of life. Green is the medicine of magic. Blue renews both life and magic. Here, taste a sample of the red potion. Yeah, if you're around this area and you're low on hearts, talk to him and he'll actually re he'll actually refill your um, health for you, which is always handy. And that is actually going to be it for now. I've done everything I can do before um, we go up to the Tower of Hera, so... Save and quit. So, this has been Chisba. You've been watching Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. The next episode, we will be going up to the Tower of Hera. And we will be getting something very special along the way. Something very integral to our quest. So, farewell my friends, and I will see you soon.